everybody. Hi. Um, I'm just going to wait for people to join in. And while people are doing that, I'm going to go pull this up on my computer. So yay, more people joining. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully great for this Sunday. Let me share this over to our group really quick. Lots of people joining. If you're just tuning in, it is our um, 12 days of crafting and today is day three and we're doing dish towels. So it will be a fun one. So I'm gonna wait to get a few more people on. Yay, and I'm so glad so many people are joining. It's a Sunday, we don't usually do a lot of, well we haven't in the past, but it's been a while since we've done a lot of lives at all. So we are excited to be here. Um, who has been doing the flash sales? Who has been participating in those? Hopefully everyone. There have been some amazing ones going on, so hopefully everyone has been out there enjoying those. Um, there we go, now I can see comments. I'm just waiting to see comments. So now I can see comments. So how is everybody doing? I would love to hear where everyone is from and if you are enjoying the flash sales. Uh, if you're just tuning in, I'm Joanne from Expressions Vinyl and it is day three of the 12 days of crafting. If you're not familiar with where we're at, we're in Idaho, and that's where I'm at. I'm at home, not at work, but we are in Idaho, so I would love to hear where everyone else is from. Um, I'm seeing Texas, Hawaii, oh, I'm gonna go to Hawaii, Arizona, um, Canada, Colorado, Michigan. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Um, we've got 12 days of these happening, and I'm excited to do them. So, lots of people loving the sales from New York, some from right here in Idle Falls. Our store is in Shelley, but I'm actually in Idle Falls, so. Okay, so today we are doing dish towels for our 12 days of crafting. And I am doing, I keep setting stuff places and then I forget where I put it. These are a couple ideas that we've done before. And I, this one has glitter and metal on it. And these are um, Vinyl Club cut files. So that's what we're doing today. This is another one, Be Merry. Um, these I did a while ago, but it's um, Eat Dessert. I've got strip flock and glitter. And then this one, Don't Worry. Yeah, you shouldn't, you shouldn't worry. So yay, lots more people. Ooh, Australia. North Carolina, Oregon, Texas, Utah. Hey, Alicia. Um, so, thank you so much for everybody tuning in. The cup files we're gonna use today are, I know it's gonna be backwards because the cameras are backwards, but I've got my computer here watching Facebook comments and I've got my iPad up there watching Instagram comments come through. So, hopefully, I will get to all the comments, but if I don't, I will try to at the end. So this is one of them and it just says ho ho ho. It's kind of hard to see but it says ho 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 and it's got three different colors to it including the black um, the black and white plaid. And then this one is holly jolly and it's got a silver twinkle and then the gold metal. And the ho 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 has the black and white plaid, and then this one is midnight black sparkle and electric red easy wed easy weed. So those are fun ones. I'm using this one because I wanted to match my fun dish towel that I got at Hobby Lobby, and. these cute mugs, which are tomorrow's craft. So these cute mugs, which are also from Hobby Lobby. I wanted that one dish towel to match these so I can have a fun little set. So to start off with, let's do this one. I'll save this ho, ho, ho one for a minute. What has everybody been doing today? Um, 
what's you know besides shopping online or just relaxing Sunday is just you know a nice relaxing day if that's what you want to do with it but what has everybody been doing today Got to set my iron so it might take a minute and yesterday I used a little mini iron and the day before that I used my Cricut Easy Press today I'm just gonna use a regular iron just so you know you can use any type of iron um, you don't have to have a heat press a fancy heat press if you want to make fun stuff it it definitely helps and makes it a little easier because it's a little bigger and you've got the pressure but using a home iron works just as well so I don't want anybody to be discouraged you know thinking they can't do it because they don't have a heat press you can just get an iron um, people setting up for Christmas making shirts Sunday is relaxed day oh Kylie you threw your back out I'm sorry that's not good to hear Okay, so these towels I got at Walmart. So you can find these at Walmart. They are, they came in a pack of eight or 10, I can't remember. So eight or 10 in a pack. And um, they're just a simple tea towel, flower sack towel. Um, I don't know if that name kind of dates me if I say that, but it's just, um, the edges are a little crinkly but I find them really easy to work with. So if I pull it all the way out, you know, the edges are a little crinkly. They're not, they're not fancy, but they work great for cute little presents like this. So start this one. And I'm just working on this board that I have. It is just a simple board and then I've got um, a cover sheet wrapped around it. You want a hard surface when you're working with any type of iron on, so make sure you've got a hard surface for that. And we're using metal for the jolly and twinkle for the holly. And it's kind of hard to see the twinkle. I don't know if I hold it. You can kind of see it, but that's the twinkle to it. And twinkle is a really fun one. It's one we haven't had as long it's probably well maybe it's two years so I guess we have had it quite a while um, but it is another fun one to work with and it gives you that sparkle without the texture to it it doesn't have the texture that glitter has but it gives you that same sparkle so this one is metal and it is a cold peel so I'm gonna just tack it down for a few minutes and always make sure you get your pressure on it and someone said oh use customized flower sacks as gift wrap two gifts in one that is a great idea and we actually had a video from a couple years ago um, I think it was Starla that did it as used used a dish towel as a gift wrap so that is a great idea. And these would make great gift wrap. Give it just a little bit more. Okay. Just gonna let that cool down a tiny bit. Cause it's a cold pill. Okay, I have a question I was thinking about earlier. Um, I don't know why, just random thoughts I was thinking about earlier. But what what shows do you watch? What shows do you binge watch when you're crafting? I have a couple that I don't, I don't know if I want to admit that I've been watching, but what shows do you binge watch while you're crafting? I'm just kind of curious. I always have something going on in the background, no matter what I do unless I'm at work and that distracts me at work, but, and I don't watch, I don't, know, I don't watch shows at work. I rarely even put my headphones in to listen to music, but what, um, what shows do you watch while you're crafting? I'm just kind of curious. 
British Baking Show. I know I can't bake. Little Women LA. Um, Grey's Anatomy. I'm going to admit I've never watched, well, I've watched some of Grey's Anatomy, but not a lot of Grey's Anatomy. I, I can't binge watch because I actually watch. Mm. I do find myself doing that. Um, Law and Order. Yes, I watch Law and Order. Um, grocery Games, the Hallmark Channel or Food Network. That's another good one I like to watch. Christmas Movies Right Now is a great one. I keep watching Christmas movies and Christmas movies that I've seen five times, but I still watch them. So lots of fun things. Okay, I'm just peeling off this metal. Okay, I'm gonna show you this really quick. I love the look of it. It's got kind of a metal foil look. It's gonna change a little bit as soon as I press on it again, which I love. If you don't want this to change at all, um, make this your last press. But if it's okay to change, then I will show you what I mean when I'm done. It turns it into more of a foil look. And it's got this little bit of foil look because the dishcloth is a little, um, has a lot of texture to it. A lot of people don't watch TV, that's fine, listen to music. I do that sometimes too. Um, but then I, you know, can't sing real loud because you don't want the neighbors to, or someone in your house to hear you singing. But listening to music is a good one. Okay, I'm gonna press this one, and this is the twinkle layer. And again, if you're just joining, this is our 12 days of crafting and day three, which we're doing dish towels. And this first one, I've got twinkle and metal. And I'll show you what it looks like. And anytime you're doing heat transfer, make sure you get pressure to it. There we go. Here is what the finished one of the first one looks like. So it's got twinkle on the top and then metal on the bottom. So, and I don't know if you can tell, it turned more to a foil look, if you look kind of close at it. I really love using the metal. Um, it is a very fun one. So. And then the twinkle, it's got that glitter look, but it doesn't have the glitter texture if you don't like the glitter texture, but it's got still that fun glitter to it. So there's that first one. And how many people have had their Christmas stuff up for since after Halloween? I wanna know how many people have had their Christmas stuff up since after Halloween. And I'll, I'll tell you a confession in a few minutes when I hear other people that have had their Christmas stuff up. So a few people admitting to it, Lisa admits to it. Um, there's just another dish towel. This one has a few more wrinkles down here, so I'm going to press it out first to make it a little smoother to work with. Okay. Don't decorate until after Thanksgiving. No, I just put the trip yesterday. Haven't put anything up. I don't have very much, um, I don't have very much Christmas up. However, um, however, I've had my tree up, tree up all year. <laughs> it's, it's in a room that no one goes into and I've had the tree up all year and I just changed the decorations out for the different seasons. 
So I've had different, um, had stuff for Valentine's Day, had stuff for Halloween, had Easter things on it. I just changed it out for the different seasons. But it's not in a main room, so no one really sees it. But I have had it up all year. <laughs> Um, and a couple people commenting about the size of the towels. You can get smaller ones. These are just the ones that I found um, at Walmart. Um, they, they're just a, very inexpensive, so they don't cost a whole lot. Um, and I found are easy to work with. Easy to find, easy to work with. So... I get them at Walmart and once I use them I kind of fold them back um, and then lay them across where the, on the stove or something like that so you don't really see the full size of it if you fold it back and piece it with your other towels like this one is a lot smaller this one that it's gonna go with is a lot smaller but when you once you've got it folded you won't even tell how how big it is and I'll show you at the end what I what I mean by that so okay now I'm gonna press this one on so I want to hear more shows that people are watching binge watching while they're crafting because I think I need some new shows to watch I someone mentioned Law and Order and that's one I always turn to um, I just finished yesterday the newest season of Selling Sunset. I don't know why I like that show, but I've been watching Selling Sunset. And Yellowstone. I should watch that since, you know, it's, you know, nearby. Yellowstone. Oh, School of Chocolate. I saw that one today when I was looking at shows. Um, that looks like a fun one, too. So, on this Ho Ho Ho, um, this again is another Vinyl Club cut file. Um, on this Ho Ho Ho, I did an offset because none of these that I'm using can be layered except for the electric. But I'm just doing a, a offset because I'm putting pattern and the electric and I'm using um, sparkle as the bottom layer. So I've got the outside. Now let me put the pattern in there. get that one Lisa I agree with you she says I love offset now that I've learned to use it I do too and I use it all the time I am a Cricut user you can see my Cricut back there I'm a Cricut user and they didn't always have it um, but that was part of an update within this last year I don't remember how long ago they did it but I love using offset now. Okay, now I've got the pattern on. And the last layer is Um, the question is coming up, I see on there, so if ever, anybody else has this question, which I, it comes up a lot, I have trouble when I layer an offset that the insert or the inside part must shrink and you can see the background material. A way to help prevent that is only tack it down for a couple seconds and don't do the full press until the very last one. So you just do a couple seconds and then the last one will get the full press. So it, will, it, sh it won't shrink that way. Anytime I've done layering, it's just a couple seconds, and then you do your next layer for a couple seconds, and then the last one will get the full, 
the full press. And then of course, you know, you mess up because you don't get it lined up correctly or something like that, which I think I did with some of these, but it'll still work. It will still work. We're our own worst critic, but it still looks great and it will still work. So don't be too critical on yourself when something doesn't work out. And if you've tuned into the last several lives, you know that it doesn't always work out. And I've shared with you my crafting fails. So it happens to everyone. Okay, I'm gonna press this last one. Okay. So how many people got today's pattern, the freebie pattern for today? Or how many people even knew there was a different one today? Yesterday it was the books. And today, I will show you in just a minute, but it is a different one. Okay. So that's my last layer for the electric. Now I'm gonna fold this up and put it with the other towel before I show you what it actually looks like. So let me get it all nice and pretty and staged so you can see it all, all done up. And this towel is from Hobby Lobby. And this white one that I'm using is from Walmart. And if you're into Buffalo plaid, these are, these would be great. They'd be really fun. Okay, hang on just a second. We've almost got it. Nope, I didn't open it up wide enough. One more. One more and I'll show you the final reveal. And of course, you know, when I hang it on something later, I'll do it a little different, but. Just sitting down here with this. So now that one's all ready to go. So that's what that one looks like. With the buffalo check one behind it, the big one, and then the little, the small ho ho ho. And it's got that um, sparkle on the edge, and then the pattern, and the red electric. So quick, easy gifts. Um, you can use it as a as the gift wrap itself. Give it as a gift. And it's gonna go really well with my cute little mug here that this is from Hobby Lobby as well. So if you need a cute little, cute little quick, simple gift, this would be perfect. So grab yourself some dish towels, get a matching one or a coordinating one, or it, it could be a cute one with a red behind it, something similar to that. So there you go. Quick, fun, easy project. And, um, I asked a few minutes about the freebie. If you don't know what the freebie is, today's freebie is the adhesive denim paisley. And that's only today and we're not releasing it again until February. So get the denim paisley. Tomorrow's freebie, and it's a free with $20, a $20 order. Tomorrow's freebie is the textured watercolor. This one is a really fun one. We did one over the summer, the textured tie-dye, that has been one of our most popular designs. So this one will be extremely popular. So textured watercolor for tomorrow's freebie. Um, and the flash sale just ended. There will be another one, I think it's seven. 
This one just ended at 5. The next one will be at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So another hour and a half. And I think that's the last one today. And tomorrow there is a whole bunch of flash sales going on. As well as... Um, we have mystery boxes for sale. And these mystery boxes, they are $25 a box. Just while supplies last. And they are leftovers from previous boxes. So... It'll be $25, it doesn't include the cut files, and it's just whatever whatever random one they put with your order. So those are $25, and that is a huge value. With all the vinyl that comes with them, that is a huge value. So those will be tomorrow with this one as a freebie at $20. Um, Vinyl Club has had several freebies throughout the weekend, and then I know we have at least five, yeah, five flash sales. I, I believe there's more than five. I might be wrong, but I believe there's more than five, but five flash sales. So um, watch the flash sales tomorrow, and thank you so much for all the orders throughout the weekend. It's been an amazing weekend, and tune in tomorrow for day four of crafting and we'll be doing this mug. So we'll kind of coordinate with this. And I think just like I did my, um, Friday with the pillow covers, I've got these dish towels. It's not gonna include this one, I'm sorry. This one's cute, but it's not gonna include this one. However, I have these dish towels that I would love to send to people. So all you need to do is put your order number. Um, we'll do it any order throughout the weekend. So you can come back to this tomorrow or if you placed an order throughout the weekend, go ahead and let us know in the comments. Um, if it's Instagram Live, wait until after we post it and then put your order number in. Um, just put your order number and I will put you I'll draw a couple and these will go out to some lucky winners. So we've got this one, the deck of halls, um, be merry, eat dessert first and don't worry. And then the one we just did Holly Jolly. So put your order number in with, um, if you ordered today or if you ordered throughout the weekend at any time, um, put your order number in. I would love to send these out to people. And watch for our flash sale tonight because there will be another good one tonight. And stay tuned for everything that we've got planned tomorrow. It'll be a whole lot of fun tomorrow. So thank you everybody for tuning in. And we will see you throughout the day tomorrow. But we'll see you tomorrow night when we're crafting this fun mug. So have a good evening. Thank you.